It's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CERU. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. And after today's price action, uh, certainly updates here need to be made. First thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning. Just get rid of that line down there. Yes, it still pertains, but from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna have a million lines everywhere that can cause clutter and confusion. So just wanna try to keep this analysis as clean as possible. First, or I should say next couple updates come from a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. And I promise I have not moved this line since yesterday's analysis, uh, but that's in regard to this $2.30 ish area. And like I said in yesterday, or I, I take that back, like I just said, when levels of resistance are broken, you wanna see them act as support. So check it out, gap up, and then the price fell, fell, fell. And oh, what a surprise, bounce right off that level. So a great example of a resistance turning into support. And then same thing up here, was a level of resistance up here at 265. But now that the price is above it, this would also be one of the newest areas of support. But as I've talked about in past videos, taking a step back and looking at the big picture of things and looking at things from a very simplistic point of view, it's all about the purple line, the 50 period simple moving average, meaning as long as the price is above that purple line going forward, then the bulls are in full control, no questions asked. Now, what about levels of resistance? If this move is gonna continue on up, where are some of these next potential battlegrounds? Really two levels of resistance. The first one is what I like to call the fun one, and the fun one is just the highs from today. And I call that the fun one because yeah, it is very fun to talk about testing previous highs, breaking new highs, and that's where 345 comes into play. But in many instances, as is the case here, usually there's an initial hurdle that first needs to be crossed, you know, a, a initial bridge that first needs to be crossed before you start talking about the fun one. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and call that $3.20. So don't get me wrong, yes, $3.45, definitely a level of resistance, but before you start talking about that one, Bulls first got to cross that bridge there at $3.20. Anyway, you slice it though, very nice day today. So we'll see if the Bulls can continue to build upon this momentum going forward. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.